Hi, this is Steve, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create powerful countdown timers in ClickMagic's Magic Bars and Pop-Ups. Now, the most common use for this is if you're working with an affiliate site that does not have a countdown timer, and you want to create a sense of urgency for your visitors to purchase, or maybe if you want them to purchase within a certain time in order to get some special bonuses that you're going to give them, that would be a time to create a Click Magic Magic Bar or pop-up with a countdown timer in it. So let me go ahead and show you how you would do that in Click Magic. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go up to the content menu. We need to select timers. And now we need to click on create new timer. Now this pops up a new timer. And in this example, what I'm going to assume is that we have some special offers we're going to give people if they purchase before a deadline a couple of days away from now at midnight. So what I'm going to do is call this timer Midnight Timer. So let me just type that in, Midnight Timer. I've got to give it a name. And now I have to choose the type of timer. Now I have two types, Evergreen or date-based. Now I'm going to be wanting to use a date base in this example because I want it to expire at midnight a couple of days from now. But let me explain both types to you while I'm here. The first type, Evergreen, allows you to specify a number of days, hours, and minutes for the counter to count down. Now what's really special about ClickMagic's countdown timers are that they are true countdown timers. So whenever a user goes to a link, if they leave the page, the countdown timer continues counting down in the background. So when they come back later, the counter continues as though they never left the page. Now think about that compared to all the times you've gotten an urgent message in your email from an online marketer who says there's 48 hours or you miss out on everything and you click on the link and sure enough you see a countdown timer and you look at the website and you just don't have time to read it right now. So you set it aside, you pull up the email a couple of hours later when you've got a couple of more minutes, you click on the link again and what do you find? The countdown timer has started over. And what happens to your sense of urgency right there? Well, if you're anything like me, I know that when that happens to me, I say, Psh, this is a fake timer, so I don't even worry about it. The sense of urgency for me is completely destroyed in that situation. But with ClickMagic's countdown timers, when they go back to that website, that counter has been counting. So the sense of urgency is strong and it is compelling. So that's how you use an evergreen counter. It's a very, very powerful. In our example, what we wanna do though is use a date-based counter because we want it to expire at a very specific date. So no matter what time somebody clicks on the link, they're going to see the same expiration date. Now this would be in an email that you might send out that says, if you sign up for this offer by midnight on May the 21st, then I'm going to give you my special bonuses. So then when people go to that page, they see the counter and it gives them the amount of time before the true expiration date. And then for you, it's very simple. Anybody that signed up before that date, you give them your special offers. If they sign up after that date, you don't. So let me go ahead and show you how to set up a date-based timer here. Now today is May 19th, so let me show you how to set this to expire at midnight on May the 21st. So the first thing we do is we make sure we have date-based checked then we click on the expires box and this brings up a date time map. Now to set the time for midnight of the 21st, that's actually the first hour of the 22nd. So let's go down to the 22nd. We'll go over to the time and we'll scroll it back to the very first hour of the day, which is 000. And that's how you set the expiration date for a date based timer. Now let's go ahead and set the look and feel for our timer. That would be the timer style. We have four different styles of timers that you can use. And the best way to see what these look like is to choose the preview button down here. You can see that this is the flip style in black. If you'd like to see what it looks like in white, just choose white and click preview again. And this is what the flip style looks like in white. Now you can just go through and choose the different styles. Here's slide, you can preview that. You can see, look at the digit there, how that looks. We can take a look at it in black, and that's how it looks in black. So you can just go through metal and crystal, and you can choose black or white. Just play with them until you get the kind of counter that you want. For this example, I'm going to use a white flip style. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So that's what my counter is going to look like. The label color, this is the color that you have down here for days, hours, minutes, and seconds. I'm going to put this on a bright red background, so I'm going to use a white label color. 
Now for the timer width, this is the width that the timer is going to show up in your magic bar or pop-up. Now I've played with these enough that I know that I want a width of 300. And the only way you're really going to know is if you go ahead and create a timer, put it in your magic bar pop-up and play with it. That's the only way you're going to know. Now you have the choice of showing the days, hours, minutes, or seconds. So if you don't want to show the seconds counting down, just uncheck this. If you don't want to show days, just uncheck that. But because my expiration date is a couple of days away, I'm going to leave them all checked. Now on expires, this is a really interesting setting. You have three options here. When the counter hits zero, you have some options. You can do nothing and the counter just hits zero and it just freezes at zero. That's one option. Another option is hide the timer. And when the timer hits zero, everything is just cleared out. You don't see a timer at all. There's just a big space there. And then the final one, which can be really interesting, is redirect to a URL. Now, in most cases, what you would do here is if your link pointed to a page that had a special offer with a firm deadline and they went to that page and there was still time, they would see that page and they would have that offer available to them. But if the counter had expired, then it would automatically redirect them to another full price offer page. That's when you would use this redirect option. You just check this and then you put the URL into the page that you want to give them if they didn't act quickly enough on your special offer. So for this particular example, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose nothing so that the countdown timer simply stops. Now, if you were using an evergreen timer, you would have one more option over here, and that would be to start over. And very simply, the way that works is if the counter hits zero, it just resets back to the top of the counter and starts counting down again. And in some cases, that's exactly what you want. So those are the options you have there. So now we have our timer name, we have our expiration date, we have our style for our timer. We know what we're going to do when it expires. What we're gonna do now is click new timer. Now we have our midnight timer right here. Let's go install it into a magic bar. I'm going to create a new bar. I'm going to give it the name midnight bar. I'm going to put it at the top of the page. The height I'm going to put at 107. For timing, I want it to display on load. I'm going to keep the shadow. In this example, I do not want it closable. For the background color, I want it to be a very bright red so that it stands out. So I'll just choose this default color. I'm going to create my magic bar in the content editor. And the style of this bar is going to be very simple. I'm going to have a headshot of a woman here on the left. I'm going to have some text here urging them to take action, and then I'm going to have my timer. I'm going to go up here to the predefined templates. I'm going to choose the three column layout. And the very first thing I'm going to do is widen the table a little bit. So all I have to do there is right click in the table anywhere, and it will give me a pop down menu where I can choose table properties. And I'm going to increase the width to 800 pixels. So I'll just type that in. That's the only change I'm going to make. Now in the first column, I'm going to put a photograph, a headshot. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to delete the text there. I'm going to go up to the image insertion tool and I'm going to browse the server. You can upload a file here, but I find it easier to browse the server. So these are my preloaded images. And if it's easy for you to simply drag the image into this window, you can do that. In this case, I'm going to use the upload button here. I can see on my desktop, I have my headshot for Maria here. I'm going to open that. So now I'm going to double click her image and choose OK. So there's her image. I'm going to tighten the cell up a little bit by just dragging the bar. And I'm going to tighten up the space between columns a little bit. Now for this column, I'm just going to delete this text and type in our call to action text. Sign up by midnight on May 21st to receive your special bonuses. I'm going to select that. I'm going to change the font to Arial. I'm going to increase the size to 24. And I'm going to center it. So that's my text. Now for the third column here, I'm going to select the existing text and delete it and I'm going to insert my timer. 
So to do that, I go to the timer button right here. And when I click this, it's going to list all the timers that I've created. Here I click it and I'm going to choose my midnight timer. I'm going to click OK. And this is my magic bar. So now let's go ahead and preview the magic bar to see how it looks. We do that by clicking the preview content. This is going to pull it up on top of Wikipedia for a quick look. So let's see what it looks like. There you go. The only thing I might do here is change the text to be a little bit brighter. So let me do that. I'll close the window. I will select the text and I will make that a nice bright yellow. Now let's preview it again. There we go. That's a really crisp looking countdown timer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that magic bar, create a new bar. Now let me show you how to install it in a link and then we'll wrap up this video. So we'll go to my links. We'll go here to my timer example where I already have a countdown timer on the Square Foot Gardening site. I demonstrated this in the magic bar video. So let me show you how to attach a different timer. So we'll go into the timer, we'll edit it. We'll go down to the magic bar setting, which is right here. So we see that the webinar countdown is set for this link. I go ahead and select it, choose the midnight bar scroll down, save. Now if I go to the timer example and I preview that, this is what our countdown timer looks like on a real website. So you can see that it's very simple to create a timer within ClickMagic and then to insert it either into a magic bar or into a pop-up. So I'm going to encourage you to play with different kinds of timers. We've seen that when people add timers to their offers that their conversions increase dramatically just by incorporating a countdown timer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Steve with ClickMagic. If you have any questions, just contact us at our help desk. We'll be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.